The next thing for us to do is to go and install the backplate for our AIO, and you're going to find this in the box with the AIO. So all I need to do is lift the motherboard up, slide this in from the back, then we're going to get these little standoffs in the AIO box, and all we're going to do is screw these in to the backplate. Okay, next we're going to start work on our AIO, and the first thing for us to do is to get the fans on the AIO. So I'm going to install the fans with the front of the fan facing into the case, so it's going to be an exhaust at the top of the case, blowing air from inside the case outwards. So in this orientation, it's on the right way round. The next thing for us to decide is which end should the cables come out, and we're going to want them coming out the back of the case so they can't be seen. So I've already lined things up in the case, and I think the tubes over to the right-hand side is going to look best. So in this current orientation, this is going to be the back of the case, so the fans are in the right orientation here. So we can go ahead and put the second fan onto the radiator, and then using the long screws that come with the I.O., we'll go ahead and get the fans secured to the radiator. Okay, next we need to look at the connectors coming from each of the fans. So we've got a standard four pin fan connector. And on the other cable, we've got a five volt, three pin addressable RGB connector. Now this connector splits into two. And this is going to give us the option to daisy chain things together. So this IO is fairly unique in that we're going to plug all the cables coming from the fans into a hub on our radiator. Okay, so I'm going to make a start with the four pin fan connectors, just going to bring the cable through and then plug it in to the connector. Okay, so I've got the other four pin fan connector and again that's it plugged in to the hub. Just behind these fans we've got a three pin five volt addressable ARGB connector, so I'm going to go ahead and plug the cable coming from one of the fans into this header. Okay, so we'll go ahead and line things up and then push things into place. I'm just going to pull the excess cable over to the side here. So what I'm going to do now, the other end of the ARGB cable that we have plugged into the hub, I'm going to go ahead and remove the protection. Then I'm going to take the cable coming from the other fan, line up the two arrows on it, and push things into place. So we're going to daisy chain the second fan onto the first fan that we've already plugged in. And obviously if we had a radiator that had three fans, we have another connector where we could daisy chain our third fan in. Now all we need to do is tidy up these cables so they're attached to the back of the radiator and out of the way. So in the AIO box you've got these two little clips which you can use with double sided tape to stick into the back of the radiator to hold the cables in place. I may use this radiator in another build and I may have it turned the opposite way round. So I think I'm just going to use cable tidies to tidy the cables up at the back. Next we can go ahead and secure this to the bracket we removed from the case earlier on. And we've got some uh, short screws and washers that came with the AIO. So before we go ahead and put our bracket on at the top, there's two cables we're going to want to plug in. One of them's coming from the pump head and it's going to go into our CPU fan header. The other cable we are going to need to plug into our pump head and it's going to go into a 5 volt addressable RGB header. So I'm going to make a start with it. So the cable is not currently plugged into the pump and I'm going to leave it that way for now. But the problem is once the radiator is up here, access to this header isn't going to be so good. So I'm going to go ahead and line things up with the header. The next cable that I want to plug in is our CPU fan header. And it's just going to go into this header at the top of the motherboard. And then I'm going to set that down into the case for now. Next we can go ahead and put the bracket on at the top. We just need to line things up here and then lower things down. Next we can go ahead and screw things into place using the screws we removed at the start. Next we can go ahead and remove the protective covering from the pump. What you'll notice is we've got thermal paste pre-applied to the pump head. 
So all we need to do now is lower things down over the standoffs that we put in earlier on. And once we're happy, things are over the standoffs, we can secure things into place with some thumb screws that come with the AIO. And then we can go ahead and tighten things up with a screwdriver. So I'm just going to start at one corner and uh, give each a few turns before moving on to another corner. Okay, that's everything fully tightened. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this cable for the RGB down past the tubes and then plug it in down the bottom. Okay, there we go. Then all I'm going to do is push the excess cable up to the top. Okay, we've got a little bit of plastic protection over the pump head which we can go ahead and remove.